All right, welcome back, guys. Today I wanna showcase the sunken sword, cause apparently, as the effect of soaked it, right? When and it literally says act as catalyst to buff damage of cold attacks. So it buffs the cold attack by soaking the opponent. So you're basically using water magic on them, except it's on the sword instead. So yeah, and I have a uh, ice magic for that. So, and since I'm a con jeweler, you know, that means I can imbue magic into my magic. Wait, what? Into my magic sword, which is the sunken sword. But, <clears throat> so let's do that real quick. I do press H. I actually canceled it. So, here it is. It's like a glowing lightsaber. It doesn't look very good. Like, if I put it away, it doesn't look very good. And there's my gun as well. It's like imbued it with ice bullet. So, I know that's irrelevant, but I just want to show that. But I know there's some enemies back here that I may or may not prepare it. Question mark. There's some Shuri on here, so a little bit spoilers if you haven't reached here. Uh huh. So yeah, you're literally using a glowing lightsaber to attack people, <laughs> and it I believe it should freeze them. So. See, if they get freeze for like not a long time. Let's see. They get soaked it first, right? Yeah, they get soaked it first. Then they get freeze after. I don't know why it doesn't apply there. Let me try it again. Okay, it applies one. Oh, that's loud, guys. Well, it should like continuously freeze a little bit more. Okay, never mind, it doesn't. It only freeze once, which is kind of unfortunate. That was really loud, guys. Okay, my apologies for this centurion messing up. There's also different abilities, too. I know it, it does the same thing. Anyways, got rid of him. I almost died to that. But it applies to the other abilities as well. If we wait till one of these guys swans back, I could show you guys it. So I did Rising Tide earlier. It froze him while we're in combat. So that was pretty cool. Okay, we can try on this guy. I'll use the Tiger Rush, which is the second move on this guy now. Oops, I don't know why I pressed. See, like, it freezes and it grabs, which is kind of sick. If you're using it in PvP, it's like an instant freeze and grab, so they can't do anything. And then we're gonna try Rising Tide in a bit. Um, Rising Tide. We can charge it. So, there we go, he's frozen. Did you get one shot? No, he's up there. Yeah, can we go. I think we could go out with a Tiger Rush. And then combo him. It's a little bit messy right now, but it gets the job done, right guys? So that was pretty cool. I want to see if I can freeze them with my bullet after soaking them, like once. Right, um... Because they get soaked it after one, like one frozen, and you can't like frozen them after, right? Like they're soaked it right now. So, now, I should actually freeze them if I put the bullet back there. Where'd he go? He's gone. Let me try again. Anyway, so that, and then I might die here, but let's see. I missed, of course. Let's try the multi shot. No, it doesn't freeze. That was really loud, guys. Try. I don't know. That was, let me lower my my volume, my in game volume. That was really loud. My bad. But yeah. Okay, so the bullet doesn't freeze, so that's good to know. Um, but the melee weapon, all of the moves from melee should freeze. You know, from the sunken sword. So that is cool. Other than that, I mean, I could like, I don't have the armor on this file right now, so I can't really show the armor for sunken armor. But it's okay. It's only defense and attack size. You know, not that important. Alright, anyways guys, that's it for the video today. 
Um, it's kind of late. I'm gonna head to sleep.